The biggest misconception about the low-income individuals who are struggling in poverty is that somehow they're not able. When the truth is that the system as it exists today doesn't support them. In the world, 250 million learners can't read or write. The only reason we have a habitable planet is because we have a moving ocean. One hour of sunlight is enough to power the entire planet for a year. And our main question is, how can we tap into that almost limitless energy for the benefit of humankind? We work with our own businesses to make sure that our own value chains are inclusive and are sustainable. And we use that to catalyze system level change so that markets work more inclusively, so that more people access the benefits in the economy. We build a more diverse and inclusive workforce that by valuing people who speak in different ways, you'd have more voices contributing to important conversations. We managed to monetize our effort of restoring and conserving forests through carbon credit. What we're doing, not only that is mitigating climate change, but it's also being inclusive. 80% of the 2 billion people who live below $2 a day are smallholder farmers. The way our technology works is that we've replicated how people buy prepaid minutes for their phone. But instead of buying phone credit, you're actually buying seeds and fertilizer little by little. The benefits that they're seeing is that they're getting 50 to 100% more food. And that's a really powerful driver for someone living on $2 a day. We can achieve the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030 because if there's one thing we've seen from this pandemic is that we cannot work alone. We need to work collaboratively with all the different sectors in order for us to make lasting change. Because when the will is there and when we see the urgency, we are able to act in new and innovative and boundary-spanning ways. 